Hey, good morning, guys. Today we're going to take a quick look at group policy and WMI filtering. So in a previous video, we took a look at creating a group policy, applying that group policy, and using security filtering to target the anticipated or the needed uh, objects in Active Directory to where that policy should apply. I'm going to show you a different way to do that today. It's called WMI filtering. If you're not familiar with WMI, that is Windows uh, Management Instrumentation. It's basically a baked in module that allows um, the operating system to query for different information. <clears throat> and group policy can leverage that to filter out or filter in the um, wanted targets or objects in Active Directory for the application of a filter. So let me show you what I mean here. We'll open PowerShell. And we should be able to do git dash WMI object and then win 32. There's a lot of things that um, WMI can get for you as far as information, but this is one that we'll be looking at in group policy. Win32 underscore operating system. And that'll return our operating system version number. <clears throat> so this is running uh, server 2019. So version number is 10.0.1 and then whatever build. The interesting thing about Microsoft Windows is that the server OS and the um, Windows end user operating systems share the same version numbers. It's just the product type that's different. And you'll see that when we build the, um, the WMI filter itself. So for instance, server 2019 and Windows 10, I guess you could say they're like the same family of operating system. It's just the product type that's different. So if you selected a WMI filter for 10.01 as the version, you would have to specify product type one for Windows 10 or product type 2 for server 2019. So we'll be targeting for product type 1 today. We're going to build a filter out for Windows 11. So real quick, let's take a look at our Windows 11. Verify that build number or that version number. Let's log in with Skywalker since he's an admin. <coughs> Excuse me. And the version numbers on these do increment as they come out with different releases or builds. So we'll create a kind of like a wild card or catch-all filter. So I believe Windows 11 is going to be version 10.0.2, and then it'll be followed by whatever version it's on or whatever build. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Just get just waking up here. And um, the way that we can filter out for that is putting a percent sign, which is almost like a wild card in the WMI filter that proceeds or that follows the um, two or the last number in that version number. You'll, it'll make more sense when we build it out. So we'll give this a second to get logged in. And again, we're just going to get into the Windows 11 machine here to verify that version number. Pause the video and come right back. Okay guys, that Windows 11 VM did get logged in there. Let's go ahead and find PowerShell. Okay, let's launch PowerShell. So we can do again, git WMI object, and 32 underscore operating system. Yeah, just <clears throat> just as I thought here, guys, version is 10.0.21996. So the build number is 21996, but the version operating system version for WMI um, purposes is 10.0.2. And then we don't need to really pay attention to those trailing numbers, and I'll show you why here in a second. So let's get back to our domain controller. And we will open group policy. And you'll notice the wallpaper here, if you guys watched the previous video, um, I actually logged into this as Luke Skywalker. That's why I'm getting this wallpaper even on the domain controller. 
because it's a user-based policy. It's going to follow the user. Okay, guys, so let's open group policy management. Here's where we'll build our WMI filter. But first, let's go ahead and build a um, computer-based group policy, and then we'll apply the WMI filter to that. So I'm going to apply mine right in the computer's OU, because I know that's where I put all my computers. And I like to start it with a C since it's a computer policy. And you can do whatever you want. So we're going to target specific operating systems. Mm -hmm. So real world scenarios or cases, use cases could be, you know, maybe all the Windows 11 machines need to have a specific default browser. or Maybe they all need to have a file pushed out to them. Whatever the case may be, right? It's, it's um, important to note that you can target specific operating systems. So we're just gonna do, for testing purposes, a desktop icon. Uh, desktop icon W11. Okay, that's the name. Let's get in there. And we will just, <clears throat> excuse me, we will just push out a shortcut. So we'll say new shortcut. I always like to do replace. We'll call this Star Wars. And it'll be a URL. And we want to dump it on the public desktop or the all users desktop. Um, I don't know, HTTPS, www.starwars.com. Apply that. Okay. Now we need to create our WMI filter. As it sits right now, all the computers would get it the next time their GP refreshes. So let's build out a WMI filter. You have to go to the WMI filter container here. Right click new. We'll call this uh, WMI dash select win 11. And the filter, you can add a description if you'd like. My name kind of describes what I'm doing there, so I'm okay with it. Uh, the filter is an actual query, so you're going to use the following. Select star for select all from, this might look familiar, win32 underscore operating system. And then where, so select everything from that win32 operating system, and then where is like a filter, right? So where the version is like, which basically says contains the following string value of 10.0.2. Remember we talked about that. And then we'll put a percent sign here, which acts as a wildcard or a catch-all. So this basically says, use WMI, select all the information from the Win32 underscore operating system, which is what we ran through PowerShell earlier when I showed you guys. And it's gonna say, look for the version that is like or that contains 10.0.2, right? And then anything after it doesn't matter per this, um, per that percentage sign there. It's like a wild card again. Okay, so that would be great. This would right now return Windows 11. In fact, yes, it would, but it would also return server 2022. So we really don't want that. We want to get a little more specific. So we need to specify that product type. So this is what I was talking about the different uh, family versions, I guess you could say. Product type one is your end user, so that would be Windows 11 versus product type two, which would be server, in this case, server 2022. Okay, so if we say product type one, we're gonna hit only Windows 11, because again, this is the version for Windows 11 as well as server 2022, but then we target the Windows 11 only or the end user operating system by going with product type one. Okay, that should be a pretty good filter there, it looks like. We'll save that and we can test it out now. We'll go to both of our machines. We'll do a GP update or slash force. Use the force. Okay, we'll give that a second there. And look at that. We have a Star Wars icon on the desktop. So we'll open that up. And it goes to starwars.com just like we thought it would. Go back here. We should be able to do a GP result forward slash R. 
and then we want to scope the computer because otherwise it'll only give us the user information for root policy. Yeah, we have to run that as admin. Okay. A little sluggish here guys, I'm running three virtual machines on my local PC and it gets a little unhappy, hopefully nothing crashes here. Okay, let's see if we can't kill this edge window, maybe help us a little. May have to do that from the command, or from the task manager. Gonna kill off edge. Hopefully, it helps us out a little here with the response times. Okay, so now that we're running PowerShell as admin, we should be able to do a GP result R. And again, if you just do it like this, it'll give you the user only information. You want to do scope and then computer. So here's that build we talked about, 1002. And then down here, it'll show you applied group policy objects and we see our new C desktop Windows 11. Let's do the same thing on Windows 10 and see what um, results we get. We should see that it's blocked. It should give us some kind of indication that it's blocked due to WMI filtering. Uh, Luke Skywalker. If you need to filter for different things um, other than the operating system version just google search it you know people have you don't have to reinvent anything people have been doing this for a while so there's documentation out there for specific wmi queries or filters that you're looking for i can almost guarantee you okay so let's go ahead and run a powershell as admin you can do it from command prompt as, as well it really doesn't matter but so let's run powershell as admin close filezilla And we will update our group policy, just like we did on Windows 11. And if the policy does apply, we should see a Star Wars desktop, and it did. So something went wrong with our filter. Ah, I know what we did. We didn't apply the WMI filter. That's funny. Okay, so the GP result. Plus R, scope, computer. We have to put a space there, guys. It's early. There we go. And we see that it was applied. So we did everything right. But what we forgot to do, guys, we built our filter, we built our policy. You have to link the filter to the policy. Sorry, guys, I've only had one cup of coffee this morning. We're doing some on the fly troubleshooting here. Okay, so. Windows 11, I mean we're on the group policy for the desktop icon Windows 11, once you're in this policy, in the properties, uh, or in the right pane here, you're going to see WMI filtering set to none. You need to select the one that we just built, so that should effectively start WMI filtering. So for a test, let's delete this icon, that should delete it from the public users folder. We'll have to do a GP update, forward slash force. More coffee, need more coffee. Nectar of the gods. All right guys, it refreshed that time. I do not see an icon on the desktop. Let's get one more GP result, scope it to computer. This time, this is what I expected, right? So the following GPOs are not applied because they were filtered out. Here's that um, policy that we built for the icon. Filtering denied. WMI filter. WMI filter that was selected is the one that we created. So this is exactly what I was anticipating seeing. So anytime you wanna know why you're not getting a filter, 
this is the first place I come, right? You can also go to the controller itself, domain controller, and do a GP results wizard. That'll give you a little more information, but most of the time you can nail it right from here. It'll tell you why it's not being applied. Maybe it's blocked due to uh, security filtering, inheritance, things like that, or it could be a WMI filter, which is our case here. All right, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in. I hope this is helpful. WMI filters are very powerful. This can help you in unique situations in the real world. So until the next one, take care, guys. One last thing. Don't forget to subscribe. Like, like I said in previous videos, trying to grow the channel. Look forward to interacting with the community. So leave me a comment. Hit that thumbs up button. And again, until the next one, take care, guys.